Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Tuesday, January 22nd, 2019. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice that we've had quite a very bullish here start to the year. We're pulling back here to begin uh, overnight and pre market trading here. Kind of pulling back just a little bit into uh, Friday's midpoint. Overall, the trend remains higher. We continue to flow higher above the eight period average. We have reclaimed key support levels like the 2600 level to 2620, reclaiming that level and putting some space between current high prices and that recent breakout point suggests that any pullback could still be defended for a continuation toward the upper end of this range in the near term. Again, any flow to 2800 could be pretty significant, but Again, that could be an opportunity for bears to come back in and defend and just keep prices between 2600 and 2800 for now. Overall, again, the flow continues to be the, to the upside in the near term unless price cannot hold 2600. Um, that could open up a wider pullback here for the ES. If we take a look at the NQ, very similar price action. Been trending higher over the last few weeks. Um, pushed back above 6500. That's about 6,500 right there. The upper end of this range is about that 7,200 level. And again, you're putting yourself some distance here between the recent high and that breakout point. So any pullback could be seen as a continuation opportunity toward the upper end of the range. And again, maybe uh, price stays between 6,500 and 7,200 in the near term ahead of the next directional move. But right now, everything's flowing to the upside. Uh, any failure to hold say the 6650 zone could open up more of a pullback or a deeper pullback in the NQ. Taking a look now at crude oil. You'll notice here with crude oil, this one also looks very similar as it has started very bullish from the beginning of the year. Failed new low to start the year straight up, pushing all the way to 5451 on a high today. I mentioned before that um, right here is when things started to change over when price was able to actually it was this day when price was able to hold above the 4917s that was the day we're here where it started a transition and holding above 49 suggested a push to 55s we've gotten within 49 ticks of hitting 55s now we're pulling back a little bit again by making this move on this day through 4917 and continuing higher up the range uh, again, once we hit the top of the range, it could easily come all the way back and stay back in that range yet again. So ES, NQ, and CL all using the same type of market structure right now. Uh, still looking uh, like it wants to continue higher. Any pullbacks could still be defended as price reaches for 55s. If we have a significant rejection of 55s, again, we could have a 5 or 6 handle decline back toward 49s for a retest. Lastly, taking a look at gold futures right now, you'll notice that gold uh, continues to chop around VPOC. That's something we talked about before. Composite VPOC at 1287.60 is very, very powerful right now. You're continuing to see a lot of chop back and forth. I also mentioned that this range was very, very narrow. And when you have a, a range that's narrowing like that to the apex of uh, the triangle or wedge, whatever you want to call this, uh, there's not enough market facilitation there for market participants you want to be able to stretch that range out either up or down by coming down and taking out this recent low this thing can now flip back up perhaps take out the recent high and drop back into the range and now we have a wider range to work with instead of this little range so right now again the idea with gold is that it has been very bullish it will likely continue to remain bullish and as of right now it continues to chop around VPOC, and that's likely going to remain the case in the near term. We could even pull back a little deeper, but you see that we have pivot range support here, higher value relationship, a wider pivot range, which suggests sideways action. So again, failing to hold below this low suggests another swing back toward the top of the range. And again, it would not surprise me if it gets pushed right back down inside the range at least in the near term. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session and the new week of trading. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room.